On Sunday, June 15th, from 12 to 3.30, Trinity Bellwoods Park, as we see all around us, a lovely summer site, is going to be uh, the location of an event that I believe to be completely without precedent in Toronto. Three tents uh, on which 45 novelists representing the city in all its richness and breadth will be reading, talking, sharing experiences, perhaps reading somebody else's work and generally celebrating uh, the city and the word. Well, I think what Luminato is doing with this literary picnic is something that is unlike anything else. A literary event like this is important to this city because it brings together the minds of um, a lot of the creative people around us. And it's just an opportunity for readers to come and see a lot of different writers who are doing very, very different kinds of work and hang out with not just them, but also hang out with, you know, sort of the different ideas that they're going to be talking about or books that they're going to be reading from. It's a public event, but it's also very much a personal event. It's a unique opportunity for readers and writers to connect individually. Uh, it really brings together uh, readers and writers, uh, uh, the book-loving uh, public or word-loving public. And the idea, I think, is that it's very intimate, you know, that, that it's not just a stage and an audience, but that uh, there will be many opportunities to bridge between those, uh, those two. It's uh, kind of fun to organize something around an idea, and the one that we've chosen is Toronto the Unseen. Toronto the Unseen is, to me, very apropos for our city. Toronto the Unseen reflects for me that this city is more than just what we see in front of us. All those little aspects of Toronto that you don't see on first glance. This actually matters enormously to me. Um, for me, the emblematic feature, physical feature of uh, the city of Toronto are the ravines that kind of snake their way through like arteries all the way through the city. If you're clever enough, you can travel the city without ever rising to the surface. And if you're on the surface, you can have no idea of this sort of network of channels that cut through the city through which water used to pass. And for me, they indicate everything that's true about Toronto. The fact that you have to work a little harder to discover what's here. I think this is part of the reason that people read, because they desire this type of individual connection. And yet there are not so many events which actually give that opportunity. And so that's what I think really, really makes the Literary Picnic a special, special event. It's a picnic, man. Like, you know, let's strip this down. It's a picnic. Uh, there's going to be a lot of books, literature. Uh, you know, come read, come to support. You know, what could be better than a whole day in the park with your friends, all these authors all around, reading, books to buy, great food. Food, drink, enlightenment, uh, feasting, laughter, happiness, uh, a little bit of preaching, but probably all in good taste. It's a chance to hear the stories behind the stories, meet the people who write them, and also interact with all sorts of amazing people in Toronto in one small place. And we all just sort of hang out together like one big happy family, you know? Uh, you know, hold hands, sing kumbaya, you know, across the literary genres. Uh. There are just so many great writers going to be here, crossing all genres, fiction, non-fiction. Uh, I just don't think you want to miss it. If you are a reader in this city, this is the place to be. If the event is successful, people will have loved what they've heard. People will um, be introduced to, to new novelists. People will buy their work, help support them in what they do, but also be excited about the place they're in uh, and excited about something they might not um, previously have known about the place. Because if in Toronto we uh, profess to be, uh, you know, some of the world leaders as far as our promotion of literature and uh, incubating all of these, uh, you, know, uh, you, you know, new emerging talents, you know, we have to now come out and support, you know, it's not enough to talk about um, a, a publishing industry, you have to come out and support uh, events and initiatives like this, uh, Luminato Literary Picnic.